just about 7,000 miles and just a titch over 32 hours on the generator. A virtually new Coachman Freelander 27 QB, which is a private rear queen walk around bed. Coming in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Folks bought this, enjoyed the experience, but just wanted a little more of it. Swapped her out for a 30 foot full wall Mega Slide Jayco Class A here. And this is like, I, I don't know if I could find a better Class C for an absolute first timer. With no slides or anything like that, but a normal walk around bed, not a corner bed. It's perfect for people who just want that simplicity. I want to feel like I'm driving a van, but I want a camper when I get there. Bam, got it. This is basically the Coachman version of the Red Hawk 27N that we offer here at Halet RV uh, pretty soon actually in our rental fleet. We are late model, we are clean. I like the light colors and the big windows. It gives this thing, it, you know, it's small, but it doesn't feel that way. And I tell you, the other thing with these cool windows, like a lot of my tours are very based around like, hey, here's what you're gonna do with it at your destination. But a motor home is different than a trailer in that regard. In a motor home, your vacation starts the moment you turn the key. The moment you turn the key, you're on the road. You're taking in the sights, the sounds, uh, I don't know, potentially the smells, depends on where you go. That could be good, bad, or ugly, or in between, but you get the point. This is carpetless, easy cleaning, no vents in the floor, all sealed edge countertops and tabletop. Means even if you spill a drink from a bump on the road, no sweat, buddy. Up top here, we have a 350 pound rated overhead bed. So that'd be good for, uh, you know, maybe two adults, depending on the size, but definitely a couple kids. TV can swing around. Now, the uh, cushion that goes right here, that's what's stacked up there. For those who are unfamiliar with motorhomes, this allows you to get in and out of a cab real quick and easy whenever you want because it's not in the way. But you see that it has a couple things. It has the uh, ladder to the bunk, and then it has this safety net right here that's attached to that. It buckles in place there, so if you've got a little kid that likes to play the roly-poly routine, they won't fall out of bed at night. And that's a good thing. Down here, uh, you've got your entertainment and like backup camera monitor down in the middle. And as I swing us around, we're in a Chevy chassis here, by the way. This is very much in uh, a similar vein to something like we call a Red Hawk SE in Jayco terms. It's, uh, you know, simple, clean simplicity. Just fun. Just turn the key, go. No nonsense. No running, you know, no major issues, no ordeals. That countertop extension right there is a very welcome addition to this. Um, the uh, opposite side of that, it's easy to miss your refrigerator because it's, you know, a lot of times when you look for kitchen stuff, you kind of look for it all lumped together. Now, as is traditional in a layout like this, you have that uh, walk-through middle bathroom area, and uh, this is a, a very common motorized bath arrangement. One uh, quick note, though, as I'm walking through, one thing I do like is, like, there are switches for every darn light in this thing. You never have to go through, click, click, click these things individually. They're all right there. Now, I've got a propensity, in, in the past at least, of forgetting to do the bathrooms of my motorized tours, and I don't want to miss that here. What's nice, it, this is a small bath, but it doesn't feel that way. They put that mirror right against the wall, and normally that would mean no storage, but obviously they've got a nice linen cabinet and everything over there, plenty of room for extra toiletries. They really, I think, did a great job of that. Now, back here in the master bedroom, this is the QB, the queen bed of the 27 QB. And you can see how you have that, uh, you know, plenty of hanging and overhead storage, good dresser space. But again, the easy walk around ability of this floor plan is what a lot of people are going to enjoy. And another thing, like I said, sights and sounds, even if you are on the road, you always have access to all these windows to really see what's going on. And in the morning or at night, you hear a funky sound, you can pop your head over here and be like, oh, that's what's up. Woo, baby, hello sunshine. We got some, some sun right in our face right here. Kind of clouding our view a little bit, but uh, the good news, not really missing anything because there's nothing like, derog there we go, nothing real like derogatory to see a report. It is late model, it is clean, no fading, no flaking, the tires look fantastic, the skin's still gleaming. You can uh, probably hear that generator running. It fired up like a champ exactly the way it's supposed to. Now let me get right up here uh, onto these tires so you can see what we're talking about. But again, no sidewall issues, no tread pattern issues where they overloaded it or underinflated a tire or anything like that. She is good to go. And it's 
a very simple exterior. They didn't overdo a whole lot of anything, although I do like the double tail lights on the back there. Um, let's see here. This is a Chevy chassis. So this is a 5,000 pound tow rating. Uh, again, just like the uh, Chevy chassis Jayco uh, Red Hawk SEs that we have here. One thing that is nice though, well, two, the roof ladder, we're gonna use in a second, but they put the biggest awning on this baby they possibly could. No surprise here, roof looks good. What is nice though, previous owner, uh, they uh, added those max air covers over all the vents, so rainy day airflow or in transit airflow, this is gonna get you done. Roof is laminated, it is solid, sharp, sharp rig. I love it when stuff like this comes in. Um, people are <laughs> people are probably gonna be fighting over something like this because there's a lot of folks out there who wanna try motor homing before they go neck deep in diesel pushering. <laughs> And this is a great way to start. So, whether you need hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. There goes another motor home over there. Uh, we do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.